This banned soil trick outgrows compost, even after 200 years. If you've been gardening for any amount of time, you've probably heard that compost is the black gold of the garden. And it's true, compost is powerful, transforming poor soil into fertile ground. But here's a little secret most gardeners don't know. There's an old soil trick from the 1800s that, in many cases, can actually outgrow compost. It was once so effective that farmers across Europe and America swore by it. Then, strangely, it was banned and nearly forgotten. Today, though, it's making a quiet comeback, and for good reason. I'm talking about charred organic matter, better known today as biochar. Stick with me because I'm going to show you why this centuries-old method works better than compost alone, how to use it in your garden, and why you might want to give it a try this season. The Forgotten Trick what biochar really is. In the 1800s, farmers didn't always have access to modern fertilizers or soil amendments. What they did have was fire. They discovered that when organic material, like wood, crop residues, or animal bedding, was burned slowly with little oxygen, it turned into a lightweight, carbon-rich material. Unlike ash, this charred matter didn't dissolve away in the rain. Instead, it stayed in the soil, improving it year after year. Today we call this biochar. It's essentially charcoal made for the soil, not the barbecue. And the reason it fell out of favor? Governments in the late 1800s worried about uncontrolled burning, deforestation, and the smoke it produced. Chemical fertilizers also began hitting the market at the same time, so biochar was pushed aside and nearly lost to history. But now, with modern science confirming its benefits, Gardeners are rediscovering what our great-grandparents already knew. This stuff is soil magic. Why biochar beats compost alone? Don't get me wrong, I love compost. Compost feeds soil life, adds nutrients, and creates a living ecosystem underground. But compost breaks down quickly. In just a season or two, much of its benefit is gone, meaning you have to keep making and applying more. Biochar works differently. Think of it as a permanent soil upgrade rather than a temporary boost. Here's why. First, long-lasting structure. Compost disappears, but biochar stays in the soil for centuries. Once you add it, you're building a foundation that won't wash away. Next, the soil sponge effect. Biochar's microscopic pores soak up water and nutrients like a sponge. Instead of nutrients leaching away after a rain, they stay locked in the soil where your plants can find them. Then, microbe housing, those same pores create endless apartment complexes for beneficial microbes. Compost feeds microbes but biochar houses them, keeping them safe and active. And finally, synergy with compost. When you add biochar to compost before putting it in the soil, something amazing happens. The biochar gets charged with nutrients, making it even more powerful. Plants grow faster, healthier, and with stronger resistance to pests and diseases. That's why, in side-by-side -side tests, biochar often outperforms compost alone. It doesn't replace compost, it amplifies it. Okay, so how do you actually get this into your soil? The key is to remember that biochar by itself is too empty. It needs to be charged before it benefits your plants. Here's a simple way to use it. First, make or buy biochar. You can buy ready-made biochar online or at garden centers. Or if you're adventurous, you can make your own by burning small wood pieces or crop waste in a controlled, low-oxygen fire, which is often called a pit burn or retort method. Next, charge the biochar. Never add raw biochar directly into the soil. It will soak up nutrients from your plants. Instead, mix it with compost, manure tea, or liquid fertilizer and let it sit for a few weeks. This charges it with nutrients and microbes. Then, mix it into the soil. Once charged, mix biochar into your soil at a rate of about 10% by volume. Too much can lock up the soil at first, so start small and see how your plants respond. Finally, watch the results. Within a season you'll notice better water retention, less need for fertilizer, and stronger plant growth. Over time, the benefits only compound. Here on Soil Power, I like to keep things real. I've seen the difference with my own eyes, and so have thousands of gardeners rediscovering this trick. With biochar, you can expect deeper root growth. Plants establish faster and handle drought better. You'll get more resilient crops because nutrients aren't lost, so plants stay stronger against pests and stress. There's less watering, 
since the sponge-like effect means your soil stays moist longer, and you get year-after-year -year improvements because unlike compost, biochar doesn't need to be reapplied constantly. Imagine upgrading your soil once and reaping the rewards for decades. That's the kind of lasting impact biochar brings. Some of you might be wondering if this stuff is so good, why was it banned in the first place? The answer is less about the soil and more about politics. Back in the late 1800s, widespread burning was creating air pollution and contributing to deforestation. Instead of regulating how biochar was made, many places simply banned open pit charring altogether. At the same time, chemical fertilizers, expensive but profitable, flooded the market. Companies promoted them as a quick modern solution. Biochar, a cheap DIY option, didn't stand a chance. It faded into obscurity, remembered only in rural traditions and among indigenous farmers who never gave it up. Today though, with cleaner production methods and a push for sustainable gardening, biochar is finally getting the respect it deserves. So, is biochar really better than compost? Here's my honest take. Compost is still the heart of any healthy garden. But biochar is like the bones, the permanent structure that supports everything else. When you combine them, you're not just feeding your plants for a season, you're building a living, thriving soil ecosystem that will keep paying you back for decades. If you've ever felt frustrated watching your compost pile shrink to nothing, or wishing you didn't have to keep hauling organic matter to the garden, biochar is your missing piece. It's simple, sustainable, and one of the best-kept secrets of soil health. Now it's your turn. Try this banned 1800s trick in your own garden and see what happens. Start small, experiment, and don't forget to charge your biochar first. Then sit back and watch as your soil transforms into a rich, living foundation for everything you grow. And if you found this article helpful, do me a favor. Subscribe to Soil Power on YouTube and share this with a fellow gardener who could use a soil upgrade. The more of us who rediscover these old secrets, the better our gardens and our planet will be.